Hi guys. Welcome to my shop again. We have uh, been playing around. Have been out and about uh, playing around with uh, making the Bedini SSG with a with a fan. Been to another's member's video. I'll probably post it in the link in the upper right here. Who has converted these fans and has made some easy to follow instructions that even Wa can follow. So I have followed through with what he has said and the results are speak for themselves. This is uh, the little fan that I've converted. I have taken this guy apart to give you an idea of what this looks like. I've got uh, prepared here a little sample of what they look like. So here's a fan that uh, is all in one piece. As he does, he peels the label off back here. And he pulls this little clip off down in here that holds that fan in place, a little plastic clip. And then the fan will come apart. You take this off. And then you can pull this guy out. And you now have access to these various coils. So you remove the circuit board on back of this particular four, these four coils here. Uh, get a good shot. Let's see if I can get a good shot. I'm usually pretty any of this. Um, these four coils right here are what we're after. We're going to drive two of these are going to be used for with the Bedini to uh, act as a trigger coil. Two are going to act as a power coil. So I'm going to, on the back of this, remove the joints. There are three posts on the back of this board. Uh, one, two, three, that uh, I'm going to remove the solder joints from. After I do that, I will show you the next phase of this. Okay, we're going to give this a shot. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but okay. On this particular guy, you will see one, two, three metal posts. Now, this wire is too fine for me to really get up close with this. But needless to say, on this post right here, you see one, two, three metal posts. This post has two wires on it. So what I'm going to do is this post right there. Uh, has two wires on it. I'm going to put another post here, another post. I'm going to take a leg off of an old resistor that I have here and I'm going to hot heat this up a bit and getting the stick. Then I'm going to solder uh, one of these wires off of this. It has two uh, posts on here. I'm going to move one of those to here. Then I'm going to connect four wires to each of these posts. So I'll do that and we will be right back. Okay, I have put the, my little diode in here, which I'm going to clip. Now when you clip this off, you want to make sure that these are all the same height. I made a mistake one time and it was too high and I couldn't get it back in. So. I'm going to clip this off and we'll go from, from the next stage. Okay, now, now that I have the wire, very, very fine wire, exposed, I'm going to get that uh, in there clear of the coating, the epoxy coating that is on the wire. So I'm just going to take myself a little bit of flame. I'm just going to tip this for a second and then she's gone. All that coating is gone and I'm ready to go to my post. 
I'm going to take this, wrap around the post, and solder on. Okay guys, I uh, went ahead and soldered these on. I ohmed these out. I got about 83 ohms when I, when I uh, went from coil to coil. So let's uh, put them back together and let's hook it up to SSG and see what we got here. I'll do that in my next step. Okay. I got him back on, wires fed back through. I'm going to go ahead and put the fan back in. Snaps in. Give him a test spin. Spins pretty nicely. Flipping him over, put the clip back on uh, for my bearing. In this, but for that, I'll probably put a little bit of Dura Lube in there just for good measure. I am just going to show you. This is what a working one looks like. It's moving quite a bit of air. It just moved everything out of the way, but. Pulling about uh, 250 milliamps. Do I got it set? My 1K pot here, I can move it between right at uh, 250 milliamps to 300 milliamps. So that's what she's all about, guys. Uh, I'm really happy with this guy. I guess you can keep uh, pretty cool with Sonic.